So fellow Rotarians and guests, let us welcome our guest of honor who is here to interact with us so we can get to know him better as a person. I introduce to you Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Just like to add one thing that the traffic cost in Ortega is a Kenyan who don't know how to drive. <laughs> Uh, President uh, Bacaro of the Rotary Club of San Juan and President uh, Zapala of the Rotary E Club of San Juan, which uh, I was uh, talking to them about and I found very, very interesting because uh, it's the first, I have been invited to Rotary Clubs before, but it's the first time I heard of an E Club. So, congratulations for that innovation, and I'm sure that many first year club in the Philippines. I think one of the hardest things that do it when uh, I'm invited to, especially Rotary Club, is just, what do I, I always ask, what do you want me to talk about? What are you interested in? Open forum nito, eh, may itatanong, may unahan ko kayo. Whether or not I will run for president in 2016, well, I will announce to you that I will be thinking about it very hard. <laughs> Although, because of course I'm a Marcos, I'm a son of a president, and uh, I am in politics, and it's natural for people to assume that uh, that is what one is going to do. And I think if we're going to analyze this, uh, this entire process, or this, what is coming up, we have to first look at the elections of 2013. And again, just to show you, to, to demonstrate once again, that the politics in the Philippines moves very, very quickly. Now, who ran, who ran for president in the last election? Si, si Erat, si Manny Villar, well, and si Limbaro has started, Baruch Matas, then of course, uh, Noy Noy and Gibo. And I remember, especially in the last two months of the election, of the campaign, that uh, medyo under the belt na yung mga tira sa amin sa, sa propaganda. But again, that's, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, that's to be expected. And uh, I'm sure may kasama din kami na was answering it in like fashion. So, ganyan lang naman talaga, that's the game of politics. No? But then, now, it is now August of 2012, and who announced the coalition? It is the Socialist Party, and the LP, and the NPC. And it, who would have thought that from Villaroyo, which, we, which was the accusation made against, uh, against Senator Mani, we are now in partnership with the, with the administration. And maraming nagtataka, uh, paano naman kuman, ang lahat ng tanong nung inan, nung sinasabi na magkakaroon ng collision between NP and LP, ang tanong, payat ba si Pompo? And uh, that is natural because everybody, you know, I, 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 I happen to be in a very particular situation. Every time there is an Aquino, if there is a Marcos, people assume you're going to fight. People assume that you are going to fight, that you will never be on the same side. Which is not simply not true, because the, the events of 1986 are the events of 1986, not 2012. Tapos na yun eh. Panalo na sila kami. Then my father's government fell, they took over, and that's it. That was the decision, that, that, was, that was the that's the term of events, and it's finished. Now we can talk about it, and for historical perspective, we can discuss it and uh, say what were the forces and the elements that caused, caused all of these things to happen. But they are not the basis for what we do today and what the basis for what we do in the future. Because right now, uh, we, are, we are beginning to get many of the uh, local officials who, which was the point of the exercise, and they have been coming to join the Nationalist Party. So, this is the this is the this is the on these are the ongoing events and uh, siguro yung iba dito hindi yung iba na sabi ko dito hindi na nababalita pero yun ang mga usap-usapan namin uh, amongst ourselves so that is uh, that is the situation but how do we think the election will turn out i this is very hard to this is very hard to say because inevitably inevitably the elections are a a, a a, uh, uh, the question is, when, kung tutulungan namin ang mga, mga kandidatong ito, na kandidatong ni Presidente, it will be really a judgment on his performance. So we will have to see if that is going to be a, uh, 
if that is going to be a plus, if it is a plus, how much of a plus, if it is a factor, how big a factor is it going to be. And that is going to be the key issue here. Because we have uh, tied ourselves, we have allied ourselves with the administration, then we also stand and fall by the record of the administration. Thank you, and thank you very much.